Hi guys, in this present video lecture session, I am going to show you the rules of visibility and invisibility. Uh, the first preference should be given to the visible edges and second visi uh, invisible and least preference should be given to the axis line. Now in case of solids, always boundary lines or outer edges are visible and in case of prisms, identify the visible base of the prism such of the longer edges passing through the visible base either partially or completely then such type of longer edges are invisible or vice versa in case of pyramids identify whether the base or apex is visible if the base is visible such of the slant edges passing through the visible base either partially or completely then such of the slant edges are invisible or vice versa if apex or vertex is visible then the base edge are invisible However, such of the base edges are becomes the boundary the, that must be visible and the invisible face will, uh, whatever the uh, slant edges which is passing inside the invisible bases are always visible. Now according to this, uh, we shall discuss in detail. Now this is the prism. Now one can see that this is the top and front views. Now in this top and front views, when it is rotated in the clockwise direction, now one can see that the top base is on the right hand side and the bottom base is on the left hand side. Now the bottom base is nearer to the XY line and top base is nearer to the observer. Hence top base is visible and inside the top base either partially or completely whatever the edges which are passing will become invisible. What is the first rule of visibility? The boundary edges must be visible. Now what is a boundary? A1, B1, C1, C, D, E, F, F1, A1 is a boundary and this is the visible base and this is the invisible base. Now inside the invisible base whatever the longer edges which are passing are invisible. Now one can observe this one. Now after which the lamina is rotated at certain angle with respect to uh, VP and after which one can see that this is going to be the final stage then one can draw the projectors and complete the representation. The first point is boundary edges A dash B1 dash C1 dash D1 dash D dash E dash F dash A dash is going to be the boundary back to A dash. Then the visible edges which is the base which is away from the XY line and the base which is nearer to the XY line is invisible. So a, B, C, D, E, F is invisible. A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, F1 is visible. The lines either partially or completely passing inside the visible base becomes invisible. Now according to that, the, this is the prism which is going to be the rules of visibility, visible and invisible. The same has been represented here. And now the same figure instead of clockwise direction, if it is going to rotate in the anti-clockwise direction, the top base comes towards the right side and the bottom base comes towards the right side. Now the bottom base is nearer to the XY line which becomes invisible and top base is becomes visible. Now you can see this is exactly a mirror image of this portion and the rest of the condition in the third stage remains same here. Now this is going to be the construction of prisms. Now we shall go to the pyramids. Now in case of pyramids, this is how the pyramid is going to look like in first and second uh, in the first stage front and top views. Now if the pyramid is going to be rotated in the clockwise direction, it is going to be a edge resting. Now from the top apex is nearer to the observer whereas base is away from the observer that is the base is nearer to the XY line hence the base is invisible. The base edges which are on the boundary line must be visible, the rest of the edges are invisible. Now what is the boundary line A, B, C, O, F and A is going to be the boundary line. Now apex is visible and base is invisible. The rest of the base edges which are not going to be formed the boundary is called as the invisible edges. Now inside the invisible base whatever the slant edges which is passing either partially or completely are always visible. Hence for A, B, O, sorry, uh, O, A and O, B are visible whereas the slant edges passing outside the visible base are invisible that is do and eo is going to be the invisible lines according to the rules and then if it is rotating at a given inclination with respect to the vp this is how the visible uh, the visibility is going to be drawn now when we compare the base and apex apex is nearer to the xy line and away from the observer observer uh, the base is nearer to the observer hence the base must be visible apex must be invisible 
Now we shall form the boundary. What is the boundary? A dash, F dash, E dash, D dash, O dash and back to A dash is a boundary. And base is visible so darken the base. And then inside the visible base whatever the lines which are either partially or completely passing that is O dash, F dash, O dash, E dash is invisible and rest of the edges must become visible. Now this is how the pyramids are going to look like. Now if the same pyramid is going to look like in the uh, if it is going to be rotated in the anti-clockwise direction, one can see that this is how it is going to look like. Now in the second stage and first stage there is no differences. Whereas in case of the third stage, one can see that apex becomes nearer to the observer and the base becomes away from the observer. That is nothing but the base is nearer to the xy line and apex is away from the xy line. Hence base is invisible and for one can see that the base edges is becoming invisible but however the boundary is going to be formed on the base edges must be always visible that is o dash a dash b dash c dash d dash back to o dash is a boundary whereas a dash f dash e dash t dash is not a boundary line hence it is going to be shown as invisible now the bases become invisible the lines which are passing inside that is o dash b dash and o dash c dash are the slant edges becomes invisible edges now these are the rules of visibility and invisibility one can understand by this i can conclude that the basics of the solids has been completed and in the next video lecture session onwards we are going to discuss about the actual problems according to the conditions given thanks for watching my video thank you guys